Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory, episode number 35. Now, uh, you know what the team looks like because over the last couple of episodes we kind of changed it a little bit. Well, I guess if you've seen those episodes, if you haven't, you can click in the top right corner uh, or just continue the series from right now. This is what our current team looks like. Now, I know that when we had the, uh, the Rakitic squad that it looked like it was a bit of a downgrade to the team and I sort of understand that, but it was a change I wanted to change something um, just so just so we keep it fresh and stuff and and obviously I, I could see that it was a bit of a downgrade made my own decision to go ahead and change the team for yesterday's episode uh, and then well we're actually gonna somewhat improve it further today one thing I did just want to give you a, an update on is our Jonas's I should have sold them when he went to about 3k I could have nearly doubled my money or made like a clear thousand coins profit per Jonas I think 84s are way down on the market compared now so I'm going to have to hold on to him until at some point in time there's a promo where... 84s are required and we can actually make some coinage. So, uh, guys, do me a favor. Smash that thumbs up at the start of this video. If we could hit over 1,200 likes again, that would be awesome. Thank you so much in advance. Keep supporting the series. I love you guys. Um, I've gone into some bronze pack methods. So, this is, this is what I wanted to do at the very start of the episode. I know that a couple of new league SBCs have come out. We have the French League uh, and also the Chinese Super League. So, I had a little look in my club and you would have saw that I, I sold some some stuff. Only like seven items. Uh, because I wasn't sure if the, the bronzes that I had from the Chinese Super League are ever going to be useful for me to just keep. Because they might just only be 200 coins or something. Or whether I need to have a deeper look at them and sell any that are like fullbacks or centre backs that have gone up in price maybe but I didn't really have much silver stuff from those leagues and the, what I did have I sold but uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't as crazy profit as maybe I thought it would be so the team looks like this and a couple of people have suggested uh, that Rufier doesn't look like the greatest goalkeeper in the world. I totally understand that. I just had him untradeable in the club. It made sense for me to just use him. Uh, but I also didn't realise that Neuer was actually under 100k and actually sits at 70,000 coins. So I bought 90 rated Neuer. Also, uh, what seems to be a massive upgrade would be Alaba. So I bought Alaba as well. Now, I don't think that this team right here looks like a worse squad than than what we had before like i know that there's less there's less colorful items in there like fred's not there and we don't have that blue manalas either but I do think the squad now looks very, very solid. Uh, and the fact that we've got Hyung Min Sun off the bench in like the second half has has been kind of doing some really good stuff for us. So I think the team now, now that we've got the two higher rated Bayern players in there, does look the strongest it's ever been, I, I would say. Or at least on par with the team that we had before. Um, it is just a little bit of a shame uh, that we can't fit Manalas in super easily and that Sun isn't in the starting eleven. But... Royce, to be fair, is quite an enjoyable player, especially for like the first half or uh, the first 60 minutes before his stamina really does become an issue. Uh, he's he's actually got some awesome stats, so uh, I feel like he's almost like a perfect cam for our team, having Bobby and Mbappe up front as the striker. So, in a game that I went 1-0 down here in Division Rivals, sitting around that 1800 skill rating, uh, we went 1-0 down, but we were able to get an equaliser with Mbappe. Um... I guess we'll let the, the gameplay go on in the background and I can continue to talk about the squad a little bit more. Uh, I know it looks different because it's a 4-2-4 uh, and, and, and everyone was kind of nearly already in the right positions when we were playing that 4-3-3. But, uh, and it kind of looks weird with Fabinho up as a striker and stuff. Um, but he's on full cam and he does instantly move down to that CDM role. So we've got everyone in the team that we want. Like if, if When I think about a midfield, having Fabinho as my DM... With then Rabio out on the left hand side, who's proven to be great for me, and then Goretzka out on that right hand side, with then Royce at Cam, it just seems like a real, real solid 4 1 2 1 2 midfield. Knowing that I can take Royce off at half time or early in the second half, bring Sun on, but put him up front, flip him with Mbappe, uh, and then have Firmino coming down to that Cam spot. Again, that just seems like a really solid team to have in the second half. I can then bring Rabio off for like Fred. Maybe we can invest in another midfielder that we could use. I actually can't believe I don't score here, by the way. How, 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 
how has that not gone in the back of the net uh, to get me an equalizer against this guy? I don't understand. But you can see, there, there's literally what happens. Bring Fred on. Actually, sometimes bring Kim Pembe off to give Manalas some game time because I know I like him as well. Uh, and then keep Goretzka on, keep Fabinho on, Bobby at Cam, uh, and then Mbappe and Son up front. Like It just seems like that's a really good... I know I could start with Son, but it's like a massive impact when he comes on uh, and... Like, Royce is no no average player for that first half. He might not necessarily be contributing as much as I thought he might be, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Just, I like Bobby at striker to begin with and then bring him back to Cam because he does prove to be a great player up front as well, whereas if we have Son and we have Mbappe, they are my strikers and Firmino is my Cam. Um, I guess we could kind of move to that maybe and then bring Royce on as a super sub. That could also work. But it is that main man's son that is able to get the goal, to get our equaliser in this game against a very tough opponent. We had a really, really even game there. Uh, and, and, like, you know, the points were shared. And I guess that's kind of a fair way to go. Uh, so we get a whopping plus one on the skill rating uh, up to uh, 1,802 because we only got a draw there. We get 480 points added onto our rival's rank uh, and we can go on into another game. Now, this is against a Prem team. It's a nice Prem team, but he's also somehow wangled a Griezmann in there on uh, seven or eight chemistry. Now, that's worrying because Griezmann's probably awesome uh, on this game. Whereas, I, I don't have a Griezmann, but a lot of my players, like Mbappe, is, is as good or better, surely, right? I, I don't know. How would you rate it? I guess Mbappe's a lot more expensive than Griezmann. But is that because he gets links to like Neymar and stuff and, and that whole PSG thing is, is obviously quite popular? Uh, whereas Griezmann maybe not necessarily as quick, but he's got really good dribbling and stats. I don't know. Uh, we actually go one nil up uh, thanks to a header from one of our midfielders. I can't, I, I can't actually remember who scored that one. Uh, but this is where I'm currently missing my shots with Royce. It's those finesses from the edge of the box. Uh, I haven't quite worked them out yet, whether or not they're any different to other players, but we'll get there for sure. We absolutely will. Uh, I do like the way he makes these key runs. I like the way that he drags the defender away there, so Mbappe gets space to then take a shot. His positioning, Royce this is, uh, it seems very, very good. Uh, I just don't think there's a way for us to get our red one in, our, our lone red one into the squad, just because we have... We need another wide player in the starting 11, right? And the and the red one's obviously a cam. So that could be an issue. But we will have him for a future squad. And obviously once I've gotten used to Royce, this particular one, and eventually I upgrade and, and, and go to a team where I use my red one on loan, uh, that's going to feel like a home from home, but a better version uh, of, of that player. So looking forward to doing that at some point in time. Um, so we're 1-0 up in this game, and I give away what I thought was going to be a penalty there, but it turned out to be a free kick on the edge of the box, so no red card or anything for, for Boateng. Uh, but we get that. We do get that goal eventually with the German. Now, I've left him on. Uh, you can see I've queued the pause. So it was around the 60th minute. I thought it's time to bring Royce off, and with his last touch of the ball in this game, he, uh, he, he kind of tells me as the manager, look, don't always bring me off because I've got something in there, uh, and he does score the goal for me, which, uh, yeah, made him a little bit more difficult to take off. But I know he's kind of tired. And it is time to bring that massive, awesome impact sub uh, of Hyung Min Sun onto the pitch. Now, this is some phenomenal dribbl dribbling from uh, Martial to play in Griezmann and get that goal. Pretty sure that was a kickoff goal, I think, anyway, if I remember correctly. Um, but I was really struggling with, with... If it was anyone in this guy's team, it was his Martial that was doing the business. Like, really, really good on the dribbling. I struggled an awful lot to keep him under control. And he actually wins a penalty for my opponent. But you can see he's looking left, so I dive that way uh, and easily save the penalty and clear the ball. So I'm probably... I can't remember the last time I let a penalty in. It might have actually been the last episode. But I don't let that many in. I save quite a lot of penalties. And I have been luckily scoring quite a bunch as well. So um, they've been relatively good for me uh, since they were fixed in the very first patch where you can now actually put power and stuff onto them. So we're 2-1 up. It's the 88th minute. I, I'm trying to just hold the ball around my opponent's final third, uh, but I get an opportunity there, which leads to a corner. Um, from the corner, well, 
nothing really happens, but we push up again a couple of moments later. Mbappe gets himself into the box, plays it to Bobby. I take the shot, but it falls to Hyung Min Son. And of course, the substitute is able to get himself yet another goal. Uh, and, and, you know, telling me that he is he does deserve to be on the pitch. So now I'm torn. I'm really torn as to what to do. Um, so a 3-1 win there. And again, once again, a very tough game, a very close game. Uh, it, it's not been easy today. We got a draw and then a win. Uh, 770 rank points there. I guess we're now solidified in rank three. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess it'll be nice and easy for me to stay in there. Like I actually am recording this on on like later on Tuesday for you guys. I know it's Thursday by the time you're watching it, um, but my schedule is just that, so I had to get ahead. Tomorrow you will see my uh, my rivals rewards from this week. Hopefully we can get something good. Um, and the next game, the final game of the episode, I come up against a guy uh, in the West Ham Stadium with the West Ham kit and badge. So he's obviously uh, a die-hard hammer. Uh, and I go 1-0 down after five minutes. Now, I was a little bit disappointed in Alaba and Neuer there, my two new signings, that they didn't stop that one from happening. Uh, but so be it. Again, we'll get used to them over time. Neuer has actually stopped me a couple of times or saved me a couple of times in one-on-one -on -one situations where I genuinely thought I would have conceded a goal. So a great run from Royce and a nice turn in the box actually leads to us earning a penalty. And you can see my technique is to make him think that I'm going one way, change the direction right at the very end just before he strikes the ball uh, and hope that he doesn't notice that. And that's when the ball goes into the back of the net. Um, but I've speeded up the, I've sped up the, the clip, so you know what's coming, right? You know the kickoff goal is literally looming. Uh, Lucas plays it into Firmino and... You just can't block the finesses, can you? They are super, super strong, and there's just not much you can do about it, really. I've been scoring a ton of them, uh, and let's... Yeah, let's, you can't do much. If, if, if you spot him in an area like that, I guess... The idea would be to move the goalkeeper manually, but I I have I don't think I've got enough fingers on my hands to learn how to do that. Apparently, it's only the pros that are pretty good at, at actually learning how to how to implement that into their game. I guess if you can learn it, it would be amazing, and you will uh, really you'll stop a lot of those finesse shot goals from going in. So maybe it's something that I uh, I think about a little bit over the over the coming episodes uh, to try and you know stop as many goals going into the back of the net. But this guy was good. He was solid. He was someone that I was really struggling against. I couldn't get the ball off him. He held a huge amount of possession against me. Uh, he was clearly like skilled at the game or above my skill level anyway. Uh, so once again, my substitutes, it's time for them to shine. We're going to bring Fred on. We're going to bring Son on. And we're probably also going to bring Manalas on at the back uh, instead of Kimpembe. Uh, yeah, you can see that we're doing that right now. So those are my three super subs. Uh, three pretty awesome items to bring on. Uh... I nearly concede. I really nearly concede right at the end there. I actually got a booking for wiping him out with Manalas in the box. Uh, and then, well, once again, he gets through one-on-one. -on -one. Neuer saving the day for me once again. I can't quite score the header from the corner. There's only 10 minutes left in this game. I need to find myself a goal. So I go on, like, all-out attack. I go on super press. And Firmino plays a lovely ball over to Mbappe. And I don't know how that's flown, flown in the back of the net. That is quite possibly one of the... The most ridiculous goals I've scored. Uh, to be able to bring that down and smash it underneath the crossbar is quite quite something, Mbappe. So, uh, well done to you, my friend. You've helped me get a draw in this game, which I probably should have lost. So, yeah, I, I mean, when you're drawing plenty of games around that skill level where you can't seem to get away from, it's probably a sign that you really have reached that sort of the level of your game where you're probably going to stay. So uh, I'm, I'm relatively happy. Uh, it would be awesome to know what skill level you guys are at to see if I'm above or below. Uh, I'm guessing that I'm relatively the same, if not a little bit below a lot of you guys. If you've uh, got a nice team or got a similar team to mine, you know that it's... Uh, it, you do seem to come up against a lot of super teams in at this from this stage onwards. Can't I can only imagine what Division One is like. I I, I would not want to be playing that all the time. It would it'd be complete and utter sweat fest. Um, but here you go. I could do this if you wanted. If, if everyone is super desperate for me to bring Son back into the team, uh, he could play on eight chemistry in the starting in starting eleven. Everyone else would be exactly the same. Uh, so he would still get some pretty decent boosts uh, with the Hunter Chem style, plus eleven on the volleys, plus four and plus sevens, plus fours. Plus, you know, they're not bad. It, it's eight chem at the end of the day. It's not too far away from being full chem. I could do that, and it could work absolutely perfectly. We could either then sell Royce and get back fifty k. Uh, or we could 
bring Depay on as my super sub at that, in, in that stage. You know, he's he's done great for us. Or bring Lucas on. Or just bring Royce on and keep him. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are on that team down below. Do we play an off-chemistry Heung-Min Son? Does that bother any of you? Should we keep him as the super sub knowing Royce is quite good for the first half? All of these questions. I'm curious as to what your answers are. Smash a thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.